What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're checking out a game called Wayward Souls, which is the newest game by the developers of Death Road to Canada. So if you enjoyed that game and the marvelous pixel art and the fun and the destruction and the zombie decapitations and all that sort of thing, uh, we are playing their newest game today. If by the end of this episode you liked what you saw and you wanted to pick it up for yourself, I got a link for you down below in the description. But let's play some Wayward Souls. It's a little dark over here. Oh, look at that. I've got like a little, yeah, swack em. Swack em. Swack em and whack em, baby. That's how we do it. Swack em and whack em. Knights, we've been attacked! You gotta say it like a manly voice. Knights, we've been attacked! Like, you gotta, you can do it in the orc voice, like, Knights, we've been attacked! Like, you gotta, is anyone alive? There you go, we can, we can do better. Yeah, take that right there. I am playing with a controller because the, the keyboard controls for this game were absolutely bonker and I wasn't feel, I wasn't feeling them. Ooh, look at that, we could, ooh, yeah, take that, Lantern. You are the enemy of my people and I will slay you, Lantern. Undead be purged. Glorious. Betrayal can never be forgiven. Alright, can I loot this dead guy over here? No, I can't loot my fallen brothers? Well then, why? See, that just seems... Ooh, that's what you... Yeah, you guys make funny noises when I hit you. You make little farty noises. That's what you get. Take that, gas zombies. Take that, lay off the legumes, home slice. Oh, I can power attack? Ooh, okay. Alright, that's good to know. Uh, we got some more things over here that probably want to hurt me, just like everything else so far. Yeah, let's take these cats out. Alright, let's go on over to the left. Kind of get these guys set up. Okay. That guy had a little hat on. I'm a little disappointed that I can't loot his little hat. But then again, like, we have a Crusader's hat. So, like, do we really, do we need to? Did that one shot him? Ooh, yeah, we knocking the blood out of these dudes. What's up? You don't need blood? What does a zombie need blood for? You don't need nothing. Mix that shit with the mud. It's all good. Got a few more lanterns. What's up this way? Note to servants. Make sure to push large crates snugly into the corners. We need to prevent more ink wraiths from nesting in the storerooms. Stop hitting the crates with your tools. Oh, I can just, I can push it. Okay. Push it real good. Na, 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 splatter cat is pushing crates. I'm getting like an Alundra, like Zelda vibe from this game so far. I have, this is completely blind, as are most of, here lies Mariel. That's kind of an inconvenient place to bury a body. That's on top of like a mesa. That's like way up there. Like you gotta hike a little, ooh, treasure chest. Glorious. So we can ask us the menu, and then we can use our sunstone jewel. Ooh. That was pretty rad. I mean, I don't feel like I used it on anything useful, but I still feel like it was fun. You there, undead zombie. I require you to fall dead at my feet, for I am a noble crusader, and betrayal can never be forgiven. Uh, what's down this way? There's like some... Yeah, take that, books. We don't have time for you. We are not the learning class. That's the mages. We are the crusader class. That means we go and hit things in the face repeatedly until they stop existing. Do you give me strength? I guess I should say it like the English when I should say, Dear, give me strength. You gotta, you gotta like, do it, not strength. You gotta go strength. You gotta move it around a little bit. It's okay, dude, this place is not gonna have a single illuminating object left by the time I get done with it. This place is gonna be beat down as hell by the time I get, f oh, it blocked me in. No, but I wanted to search the other area for more explody crystals. Damn it. Amaranth Keep, that's my favorite name. If I ever had a daughter, I'd name her Amaranth. Amy for short, but we call her Amaranth. That would be my daughter's name if I ever had a daughter. That's why I've had that in my head for a long ass time. That's a good name right there. That's a solid name. It's a flower if you don't know what an Amaranth is. It's a type of flower. You there, zombies. I smell your betrayal. I shall cut through you like a cutting object through an object that is not fit to be cut. Or is overly fit to be cut. There we go. I knew I would make the simile work. I skipped all of my poetry classes so that I might cleave more effectively. An ember forge. So, drained sun blade. I can get daunted. So, light gleams off the blade with such an intense zeal that one must not stare directly at it. And then we've also got the solar scepter. Heretics, fiends alike, crumble from the might of the ornate mace. I don't know. They both sound pretty awesome. 
Does it do something different? Oh, it does. It gives me a little like it gives me like a little. Oh, it shoots fire. Nice. That's pretty rad. Like, how frequently does it shoot the fire out? Like, how do I get it to shoot the fire more effect? Oh, okay. It looks like it happens when I combo. Or it just randomly goes off on swing. That's fine. I don't know exactly how it works, but I'm sure we'll make it so we've got a holy fire bolt. That was pretty rad. I enjoyed doing that thoroughly. I want to fire more Kamehameha blasts. Yeah, taste my flame. I don't know how I feel about you guys, but it seems like whenever I fart fire, you guys fall over dead. And so I'm just going to keep doing that until I, I got no ammo left. Damn it. What is that? So X to discharge a burst of flame. Okay. I've only got two ammos left on that. Wretched husks and imperit gob. Guys, I think I got smacked. I'm pretty sure I just got smacked on. These dudes are putting the bootsies to me. I inflame you. Away from me, for my crimson bar falls low. Can I get anything, like, out of these little flower pots or anything like that? Like, anything that's going to heal me or make me feel better. Someone slumbers in this bed. Is it a princess? Can I rescue her? Or is this going to be, like, one of those reverse tales about, like, throwing off societal norms and later on I'm going to get trapped and she's going to rescue me? We don't know yet. We don't know. Anything could happen. Anything is possible right now. Ooh. Turn and face me, monster. Even a vile ghoul should meet retribution eye to eye. Be gone. Leave my home and never return. Baron Amaranth. Is that you? No! When I did a directional button, it skipped my text! My theme! My growing ambiance! My environmental story building! No! Uh, my men and I were sent to retrieve you and your family. But I will not bring back a man who has surrendered himself to sin. You will do no such thing. You will not take her. Have you gone mad? Your tower is littered with the corpses of your faithful brothers. You consorted with those mages, and look what it has brought you. Ruin and death. You got a hubbub after you say stuff like that. It's the only way that they know that you're the righteous character. Be gone before I strike you down. Your time in this godless land has robbed you of your faith and your soul. Step down. Step down and repent, Amaranth. Uh-oh. Coward! So be it. Fire! Do I have to kill those? Oh, I knocked the armor off of them. Okay, I knocked the, I knocked the boots off these cats. They don't even believe. They don't even know. Oh, those dudes got shields, though. Fire! Fire and inflammation. I am he who makes things inflamed. Man, it's a good thing we picked up this fire sword. If we hadn't picked up this fire sword, I feel like we would be very, very poorly equipped to fight with all these enemies. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot a fireball at y'all. That's what y'all gonna get. Is this just gonna, like, keep happening, or are we fighting towards a goal here? Because I keep getting flagellated in the face. Flames. Uh-oh. I don't think we're winning this battle. So death is permanent, the paladin falls. Over time, this cursed place lures many more into its grasp. Choose your hero so we can be Blythe the warrior, Abby the mage, Renee the rogue, or Cyril the unavailable, Hassan who has not been unlocked. That's like their title in the Imperial. I guess I'll start with the warrior. We'll start off with him. I ain't got no money though, so... I guess we'll start out in the mines. Cursed Hollows. Great. I must have blacked out on my way in. Got to find that rotter. Okay, so we started out with the Schwert. We've got ourselves a sword right now. I... Oh, we can throw rocks, I think. I don't know what that is right there that I'm throwing, but I'm throwing something. So that is a pouch of magical time-warping sand from Abadia. Boost your movement speed. Okay, cool. I'll keep that in mind. Let's keep on exploring. I don't know what that is either. What is that? A bitter, viscous tonic concocted by the mighty ogres from the Iron Wall. Great mountain range in the southern fens. Okay. Oh, Christ! He threw a rock. He threw a mountain at me. 
Oh, we've got gold and stuff now. That's cool. To you I bequeath this rock. Take it to the side of your dome piece. Oh, he threw an axe at me. Nah, fam. Nah. Well, I guess I took him out, so that's okay. Yay, more coins. I assume that the coins are what's going to let us upgrade in between runs so that we can get stronger, become more mighty, and become a more reputable warrior or something like that. Oh. I've been disincorporated. Funsies. Oh, they got dynamite, though. These dudes got bombas. He's going to throw out a bomba. I smack -a him with uh, my sword. -er. It hurts him because he's dead. There we go. Oh, they blow up when they die, too. And they throw dynamite everywhere. So, honestly, it could be argued that they just, in general, explode a lot. Like, every activity they go into leads to them doing explodies. Ow. Okay, so I kind of knew the way that that was going to play out, but I wasn't sure. Yo, who's dropping pennies up in the bed? Who the, who's a nasty penny better over here? Who's throwing pennies up in the bed? Yeah, take that. Axes. Mm-hmm. How you like me now, Shinana? Nah, get blown up by your own explosives. Get blown up by your own explosives, though. Oh, he didn't die. That's disappointing. Can I get this mushroom right here? Does that do anything? I suppose that rocks probably don't do much, too. So my shield, does it stay out? How does my shield work? It looks like the second I take my sword out, it goes away. And so I'm assuming I block damage or something every single time. I don't know. Brothers, we were. The cell swords and the fens. Garden, watching and beating. That's what the Blythe brothers were good at. Didn't make many friends doing what we did. Cross blaze with some real colorful fen folk. And the thing about us fen folk is that we tend to stay and carry grudges. Alright, thank you for that illuminating backstory. I appreciate it. Thank you for leading me down the trail of knowing who you are. Get your shield up just in case they try to throw something down at us. Okay, so we've got limited blocks. So we went down by one when we blocked right there. Our shield appears to have durability. I don't know if this moves the way that I think it moves. Oh, that one does though. So why don't that one move? Like, it looked like it was free and clear, but it's hard to tell. I'm going to smack these dudes through the walls. I've played enough Super Nintendo to know how to cheese this. Yup. I don't care about your fireballs. Yup. Bring your ass down here and fight me like a man with melee weapons instead of fighting like an elf. There we go. Perfect. We got ourselves a whole bunch of goodies right there. I can't really see, so I don't know if I'm doing this the right way. I'm going to go ahead and say the answer to that question is no. Well, that one went down. Down, doobie doo, down, down, comma, comma. Ooh, another throwing axe. Nice. Ooh, I'm going to chuck an axe at one of these dudes so hard. They don't even know how hard I'm about to chuck an axe at them. These dudes about to catch axes they never even knew existed. I guess I'll push you up and out of the way. I'm trying to isolate these stones wherever they might go so that like I can find access to new areas. Oh, you done made a mistake now. I don't know what I just picked up, but it looked valuable. It was colorful, and it looked like it was probably cut. And it looked like it probably had facets. I don't mean cut like it's been to the gym lately. I wonder if this is procedurally generated, or if like it's the same every single time. So I can't get through right there. But there is a coin on that side. I'm gonna, Give me that coin. Give me that coin! I want it! My lucrative value is low. Nothing happens when I kill off bones, huh? Well, it looked like there was a treasure chest over here, so... Well, that didn't work. I think I needed to get down behind it. Damn. There was no way to know how that was going to work, though, until I actually screwed up the puzzle. Damn it. Now I'm just disappointed with myself. Now I just feel like I'm an idiot. Okay. 
Well, I guess dejectedly I will walk back with no treasure. That don't look like it goes the right way. I think that'll work, though. And there's a treasure bag! Oh, no! Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Fill me up with lots of treasure. I am a dude and my name isn't Heather. Uh, do I have a map or anything? I do. Okay, well, let's head back out of this little puzzle-solving region. And maybe head back up to the north and see what occurs up here. I think... We didn't go up this way. I think I teleported down from that way. Yeah, there... Ow! Oof. Well, there goes my shield. It is no longer effective. Looks like there's no damage on touch. Yeah! Like that dynamite. Like the fuse. I'm going to try and weave around on this guy. What is that, like some kind of weird cave worm? I don't even know what that was, but it was attacking me, and therefore it had to die. I had to murder it. I didn't have a choice. Another throwing axe right there. We got ourselves a whole bunch of crystalline treasure. Oh, yeah. Is that one of those forgy things? Ooh. So we can go with the Rat Blade, a guild of sellswords and assassins that hail from the Fens. Gold is all that matters to a, right, a Rat Blade, a short sword with an increased critical tie. Then we got the Bane of Bones, drenched in Morton Steel. This great club is crafted from the bones of a colossal northern giant of the Pale. Ooh, yeah, let's do that. Ooh, it's a little bit slower, but it said it gave me a leaping attack. I don't feel like it does that much more damage. But then again, I never fought one of those before, so I didn't know exactly how that was going to play out. Let's maybe avoid hitting the dynamite barrel for right now. We got another teleporter right there. So I assume that takes us back to the mouth of wherever we came from. Oh, there's our goddess right there. That's not our goddess, but the paladin's goddess. St. Arxius grants you protection. Cool. What does the protection do? Maybe it just, like, soaks hits or something? Where else can I go? Is this just going to take me back to that little crossroads down there? We didn't go to the right. Let's check it on out. We've tried every direction but the right. Blocked that one. Saw it coming. I knew he was going to try and play it. What are those crystals right there? That's what I'm going to say, man. It looks like I got plenty of time to get out of the way of that strike. I like how he starts to fizz with a little bit more electricity the more you beat him up. That's a nice little additive effect. And more games need to have little things like that. I could definitely see this game being on the Super Nintendo. That's what it reminds me of. Like, it reminds me of some of those old, like, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, top-down, kind of Alundra-type games. Oh, the protection eats a couple hits. Okay, so it's actually limited immunity. Okay, that's probably good to know. Um, I would like these bats to be non-existent. Where I start fighting with this big turd over here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Get some of that good stuff in there. Yup, beat him down with the bones of the giant. I got no supplementary items left. It's kind of a worrying situation. Normally I'd be blocking and stuff right now, but... You need to sit down, Bat. You're doing far, far too much damage for a rodent. And that worries me. I wonder if some of the characters have, like, ranged attacks and stuff like that. I'll have to check out the mage or something next. Rap blades. A bunch of petty crooks and scumbags. Got a real penchant for taking out their frustration on the hired help when things don't go their way. One of the sods must have stuck a dagger in my brother's back as he was walking home one night. I saw to it that they got what they deserved, but nothing that's going to bring back my brother. My brother's remains were nowhere to be seen. I skipped another one because of the directional pad. A little dark in here, man. A little darkity dark. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna drink a I'm gonna drink a tonic of ass whooping just in case. Well who knew? A tonic of ass whooping gets the job done. Yo, we're getting fed on right now though. I guess that was all that I get. Oh, there's brambles right there. I didn't even see that. Good lord. 
Mm-hmm, and I ain't Br'er Rabbit, so that ain't gonna work out for me. Ooh, an extra shield, though. That's nice. I wonder if everybody's got different, like, abilities, a la sword, like Soldier of Fortune in some of those games back in the day. So he just shoots a bunch of poison out. I do like the way the enemies hit each other with their projectiles, though. That's a nice little feature that makes things a little bit less chaotic. I think he's immune while he's charging that right there. Got an extra axe right there, too. Good. I'm going to stay away from these brambles because I ain't trying to mess up my day. Uh, nothing but glowy mushrooms over here. I don't know if those are baby piggies or what those are supposed to be, but... Get a little gap right there so that maybe I can drop this dude, but I'm running out of real estate for right now. He got me trapped up in a corner, and that's really not the place you want to be against an enemy that has an AoE attack like that. Yeah, I will bat you little guys all over the place. You guys are no principal concern to me. Y'all can get lost. Mm-hmm. Y'all can get lost and never find a map. I don't feel like that does that much more damage, but maybe I'm wrong. We picked up another one of those ogre tonics, I think. On this side, we got a whole bunch of coins, too. I wonder how I check how much gold I've picked up. 381 is how much gold I've picked up. Apparently, we've got no hat on right now, either. I don't know if those are going to be, like, unlockable items... Or if those are just like, oof, somebody's going to get me in here. It's a good thing I picked up that wide-angle weapon. Otherwise, we'd be struggling right now. Sit them on down, pick up that freebie axe just in case I need some of that ranged loving to give to my enemies. Cook up a little something in the oven. Spent months searching. Went north to the Arcane Commonwealth. Tracked the grave robbers down. All said the same thing as I broke their arms. A necromancer had taken the bodies. Gullwretch. Wanted for all kinds of crimes against both the living and the dead. He was careless and left clues, thinking he could hide in the same tower. He thought wrong. Well, apparently that's where we're headed right now. What is that? Lars the Prospector. Never getting a staring contest with a lifter. Okay. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to take it to heart. If I see anything around here that lifts, I'm not going to get into a staring contest with it. Some books over here. What can we do with this? So, Iron Shield. Not for this shield. Blythe would have perished long ago and blocks damage until it breaks with medium weight. We've got the Mirror of Cameron. Cameron, a mage hunter, kept a shield that granted his foes a glimpse of their bewilderment as the magic fizzled against it. A hunk of Ravenstone Obsidian that has been enchanted to sap the energy of those that strike it. So it gives a slow effect in melee. And then that deflects magical projectiles. I'm going to go with that right there. Does it look different? Oh, it does. Nice. Good. Careful attention to detail right there. I prefer things like that. I like it when the graphic actually changes on your character when you pick up certain items. I don't know, Sam. I'm about to do something over here. These bats are becoming a problem. Oh, my God. There's so much happening over there. Oof. I'm going to get you sorted out real quick. Any kind of heal or anything inside of there? Man. We got a lot of stuff up inside of here. It's trying to mess up my day. I'll trade you an axe for a... There we go. I'll trade you an axe for sure. Yep. Time to sit you down. But I'm out of axes now. So unfortunately our ranged option has been diluted a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to sort that out real quick. Oh, there's a lot of dynamite and stuff flying around. I got another little wormy dude, too. I keep forgetting he lights off an AoE when he comes up out of the ground. I think we're going to get dropped pretty shortly. I haven't seen any kind of healing resource or anything like that just yet. Yup, I'm speedy now. Y'all can't handle the speed. I'm up in here like the Flash. Yup. What do we got right there? Is that a healing potion? That looks like a healing potion. Yup. We got ourselves a healing potion. We ain't gonna die yet. We ain't dead yet. We got a new hat. The Worm Eyes. What does the hat do? The eye is the biggest weaknesses of the Crag Worm. Miners are trained to aim for it with their pickaxes. Oh, okay. So it gave me mining goggles. 
Nice, that's pretty cool. I like the little, I mean, I don't think it does anything, but I like the fact that you can get little decorative items or little... Hurry, Mulgear, I've lost feeling in my arm. You, turn around. What is the meaning of this? Core, Gullrich, you look like you dabbled too much in the grave arts, mate. Shut your maggoty mouth, I haven't the time to trade words with fools. You're gonna make time, mage, answer my questions and you might walk away with only a limp. Enough of this, Mulgear. Keep this lump away from me. Out of the way, freak. Mogir got beat down. Mogir had a bad day. Mogir found out the hard way that you don't mess with a man with a big hammer. Well, this game is called Wayward Souls, and I just looked at the clock, and we are out of time for this episode. If you guys enjoyed what you saw so far, it's kind of like a hack and slash Alundra meets like Rogue Light. I don't even know, but roguelite is such a diluted word nowadays, it's hard to tell, like... It's hard to tell what's even a roguelite anymore. Like, it's such a diluted term. Oh, I'm gonna get you. You look like a treasure goblin to me. I've seen enough treasure goblins to know. But anyways, if you wanted to get the game for yourself, all you gotta do is look down below. I got a link in the description for you. Oh, he was still alive over there? Damn it! Uh, other than that, if you like the video, don't forget to like it. It helps out more than you know for a smaller content creator like me, who's just kind of struggling along doing the variety indie thing. I will see you all next time, presumably with a with a bit more content for you to check out. Ow, that hurt me more than it hurt him. Now I'm just disappointed with myself. But anyways, if you want to get the game for yourself, obviously I've always got that link for you down below. I am dead. Dead, dead, dead. Dead, dead, dead. I will see you later. I can write my grave message. Uh, we can retry, I guess. Oh, it'll let me redo the dungeon. Okay. Well, never mind that. I will see you all later. And if you wanted to support the Death Road to Canada devs, this is their new game. See you all later. And how you do, everybody?